Hello, Dr. Lonnie Herman here. If you suffer from bloating, uh, constipation, diarrhea, irritable bowels, then please listen to the remainder of this video because the results that a patient of mine who suffers from rheumatoid arthritis and a few other uh, chronic disease ailments, uh, which she just uh, reported to me on, after her first treatment with me following my first protocol I developed for her is relief from uh, bloating, relief from acid reflux. She is no longer taking acid reflux medications. She's been able to remove that from her diet, from her lifestyle, from her daily habits. She no longer has bloating and she no longer has, or what she did have that she no longer suffers, was having to go to the bathroom five, six, seven, eight, nine, or even 10 times a morning she couldn't leave the house because it was so difficult to, to try to stop the bowel movements from taking place. And there was just always little bits coming out and little bits coming out. And there almost seemed to be no end on a daily basis for her for a very long time. And she just reported to me that she has no more acid reflux, no more need for acid reflux medications. I know I'm repeating that, but I wanna get that point across. She has no more bowel disorder. There was no bowel testing run. There was no stool testing run for her. There was no leaky gut test done to confirm any of other findings that are pretty uh, popular out there with trying to understand uh, where the breakdown in the gut or leaky gut or, or the gut inflammation is coming from. I'm gonna tell you right now what I did for her in her first protocol and what my unique non-electrical form of bioresonance testing is able to tell me within minutes uh, for a patient to provide specific unique remedies to help them heal from their chronic ailments is that her stomach mucosa layer this is also known as the gastric mucosa and this gastric mucosa which i'll put the information up on the screen you can look on that uh, on google to find out more about this gastric mucosa layer but this is the innermost uh, lining of the stomach uh, that 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 the acid touches and that the food touches and um, basically is, is that when infections get into that gastric mucosa layer, you can have a terrible bloating, a terrible acid burning type of uh, experience because the tissue itself is not able to uh, function the way it's supposed to when it's inflamed from infections and toxins. And what I found in her is she has multiple parasitic infections or had no longer has them, multiple parasitic infections she had a very high level of the Lyme Borrelia burgdorferi infection in her gastric mucosa layer. She had multiple uh, side effects from multiple vaccinations in the gastric mucosa layer. Remedies were made to remove those vaccines from those tissues. She had multiple antibiotic residues left over in her gastric mucosa layer, multiple viruses. These viruses, I did not find the particulars like Epstein-Barr or mono or herpes. There is a way that I can go with a, a general overall view of, of, of a testing of viruses in the tissues and in one fell swoop and one remedy drop, the viruses were eliminated from the gastric mucosa layer. Mold and fungus, multiple strains of mold and fungus in her gastric mucosa layer, multiple foreign substance chemicals in the gastric mucosa. She also had a candida infection called candida glabrata in the gastric mucosa layer. She had multiple food additives and food preservatives. These are items like MSG, like BHT, like food dyes that you could find in various drinks and foods that are on the market. Even for somebody who's following an organic or vegan type of diet now, years ago when somebody had eaten or drinking or, or, or was drinking uh, items that are not as clean and organic as they may be doing now, for those of you who are vegan now or vegetarian now, just understand that foods that you have had in your past can still be in your system. Those items that were added to the foods, those poisons, those toxins can still be in your tissues. She also had uh, some mycoplasma bacteria and also a Babesium microti parasite in her gastric mucosa layer. So think about this. One, two, uh, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, at least 10 infections and multiple toxins in the gastric mucosa layer of her stomach. You tell me that if you're infected with multiple infections, 
and multiple toxins in that gastric mucosa layer that your stomach's gonna feel okay, that you're gonna dige digest everything well. It just can't happen. It doesn't happen. So when the drug companies are telling you to just take uh, acid reflux medication and you're still living with various digestive symptoms, you've got to step out of the box, step into a clinic like, like mine. What I'm offering you is to find the causes, the hidden infections, the hidden toxins that are in those tissues. We don't need biopsies. I don't need to do a breath test or a stool test. We can find it within minutes and set you off on a course of, of, a, of a protocol that's gonna help you heal because you can find and elegantly remove the infections and toxins that are aggravating, that are stressing the tissues causing these symptoms. And let me just be clear, she started that uh, that protocol and came back to me in 16 days. In 16 days, she no longer had the experience of the acid reflux, of the bloating, or the multiple trips to the bathroom every morning. So we're really happy and pleased to share that. I will share with you updates on her as she continues to go through this program because she's got a terrible, terrible inflammatory disorder in all the joints, a terrible rheumatoid arthritic disorder. It's in the hips, it's in the hands, it's all around the body. And I expect that to be relieved as well because all chronic autoimmune disease, including rheumatoid arthritis, is coming from chronic infection and chronic toxin. And this patient also had already had all of the mercury fillings pulled out of her mouth. So uh, there's, there's mercury still in her body. I'll report in another video because on this follow-up exam, which stay tuned and look for another video about the rheumatoid arthritis condition with this person, because I'll share with you the new findings that I discovered that are causing inflammation in her body. Thank you for listening to this about the digestive system. I look forward to sharing more with you. And uh, click the subscribe button on my YouTube page. Come find me on my Facebook page, which I put up information all the time. And I look forward to sharing more health secrets here on this channel.